Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. So it comes in this really thin box. I also got the book cover keyboard slim for it. Okay, so there's a seal here you got to cut and a seal here. This is the S8 11 inch with an S pin and I got the 128 gigabyte. Okay, so let's open it up, see what we get. There's a little tab here you pull. Ooh, it feels nice. Okay, we've got to open it up here. Okay. Looks really nice. Let's see what we get in the box. Comes with a cable. USB-C, oh, USB-C to USB-C. I don't think it comes with a charger. And here's the S pin. So there is a little button on it. So no charger, you got a charging cable, but no charger. Now on the back side of this, there is that little tool for opening up the SIM cards or the SD card slot or SIM card slot if you've got one that talks to the cell towers. So inside that one, there is a little quick start guide. Kind of goes over some things. Not a whole lot of information. Okay, so let's take a look at the tablet. Looks like we've got, there is, looks like a piece of plastic. We got to take off of it yet. Yeah, there is a piece of plastic to remove. Looks like each side has one of those pieces. So yeah, you gotta remove this one. So all four sides have one. Okay, so here's the bottom. Looks like it's got some ports there. There's the USB-C charging port. Looks like a speaker and a speaker. Here we go. There's the SD card slot for adding storage the volume and the power button and then on top looks like we got a couple more speakers maybe a microphone there's the camera it does kind of protrude out a little bit it looks like there's two lenses and a flash so this thing looks really nice and it's got the symbol on it sound by AKG very, very nice. It's got like this little engraving on it or something. All right, let's turn it on. Okay, so turn it on. We're going to hold the power button. Okay, so it says Samsung. Okay, so it does have a bezel around it. And it comes with 60% charge. It's got 60% charge. And then the pencil you're going to put, it, it's held by a, a magnet. You're going to put it right there and that charges it. When it's mounted to the, to the tablets, it charges it. And you can see the little icon up there saying that it's charging. Okay, so this is the first screen that comes up. We're going to hit start. It asks if you want to agree. You have to agree to the terms and service. Okay, then hit agree. Okay, here's some permissions for Samsung apps and devices. Hit agree. Okay, so it's going to find, so find your, your Wi-Fi network. Click on your Wi-Fi and then enter your password in here with the keyboard down here. Okay, so once you've entered it, hit connect. Okay, so it's checking for updates. Says it's getting the tablet ready. Okay, so this part's taken a little bit. I've been, it's been about two minutes already. Okay, next it's going to ask if you want to copy apps and data from a previous tablet. I'm going to, you can either click don't copy or next. I'm going to click don't copy. Even though I do have another tablet I could copy stuff from. Okay, so here it wants you to sign in with your Google account. Your Gmail address and password. 
Okay, so after you log in, it's going to ask you for some more permissions. If you want to use location, click accept. Here's where you can protect your tablet with face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, or PIN, or a password. Or I'm going to skip it for now so that I don't have to log in. And it, This is what if you want to use the Google Assistant. Okay, so now it's been stuck on this screen for about a minute. Okay, so even though you sign in with your Google account, if, if you have a Samsung account, I do, so you want to sign in with your Samsung account now, an account now. Now, it does not come with a charger, so you're going to have to buy a charger for it. This is the Nano 2 30 watt, made by Anchor. Now, the cable that comes with the tablet will work with this charger because this is USB-C out. And then you'll plug the other end of it into the charging port. Okay, so let's... Here's where you're going to charge it, right there on the bottom of the tablet. There's a USB-C port right there. And this can go either way. And it does fast charging, super fast charging. And we can see that in the settings that it's doing super fast charging. So that anchor uh, wall outlet works really good. It'll really charge this tablet uh, fast. That's the fastest that you can charge this. If, you, if your wall outlet does not support super fast charging, it'll just say cable charging or fast charging. But it takes a special kind of charger to make it say super fast charging. So again, over here, here's the power button. We've got a rocker button for the volume. That's up or down. I'm going to do a separate video for how to open that up. So you can see this is a very nice tablet. I am very happy that I got it. Let's go over dimensions really quick. So 10 inches, and it looks like the screen is right at 11 inches. And this way, it's right at five, six, almost six and a half. So on the back side here, yeah, it does show fingerprints a little bit. You've got the, now don't forget the pin. This is where it goes. It charges like that. Now, it doesn't really want to stick when you go the wrong way. It kind of does, but it doesn't. Make sure that it really sticks this way really firm when the pencil is pointed towards the cameras. So let's take it off and see. Okay, so now I've got the pin. It's got a button on it I can press. It brings up like a menu section if I press it. And if I press it again, it goes away. I can use it to tap on icons, you know. Or I can press the button and it brings up. Got to be kind of close to it. Let's create a note. Oh, that sounds cool. It, you can kind of hear it. Well, it glides really nice on there. It feels really nice. So it, when it, it knows when I got my hand on there and I'm writing. It's not pressing anything over here. So yeah, I'd have to say that that feels really nice. It really glides and it kind of is pressure sensitive. So if I go really light, but if I'm down really hard, it's kind of thick. But you can hear the paper sound. And then when you're done with the pencil, you're just going to put it on the back. And then it'll start charging again. And see, there's a pencil. So when you put the, the pencil icon, there's a little charging thing. Yeah, it shows it 100. So the pencil must come pre-charged. Thanks, everybody, for watching.